going through graphical calculator methods for data in frequency tables or on its own for finding the measures of center and spread, the five number summary, the standard deviation, all these things that we need. So you see here I've got data in three forms. I've got an ungrouped frequency table, I've just got a set of data, and I've got a grouped frequency table. The methods I'm going to show you here you can use for any set of data in a frequency table or any set of data on its own. You could work it out from a dot plot or a stem and leaf plot. If you can get the data, you're all good. So we'll start with this one, I suppose, just your standard frequency table. To put your data in, remember it's stat and edit, so just hit enter. Now list 1 is what you use for your data, and list 2 for the frequency if you're using it. So my different scores go down list 1, and list 2 takes the frequency. So your data is entered. Stat edit L1 for the data and L2 for the frequency. And you just enter your data as a frequency table. Then to work with that to get your data, your, your information that you want, stat, move across to calc, and we're always going for one variable stat, stats. That's basically saying we're just measuring one thing. So no matter what we're doing here, we're in one variable data at the moment. Enter. Now this will come up in a couple of different ways, but you want to list your list as L1. Now if it's not in there, L1 is above the 1. So second function, L1. If you've got a frequency list, which we do for this data, then we want to say that. So that's L2. It's down here over the 2. So second function, L2. Move to calculate and press enter. And here is our data. So we'll write that down, what we did. Stat, move across to calc one variable stats and we want L1 and L2 for frequency and enter or calculate depending on your calculator. Now what this gives me is a bunch of really useful information. So we'll just list the ones that you're going to want and need. The very top one, x bar, is your mean or your average. You really want that. Nothing much to worry about on this first screen until you get down here. Sx is your standard deviation. Now both this one and this little one here, sigma x, are the standard deviation. You'll see they're pretty close. There are two different ways of calculating it, sample and population. We're always using the sample, so always use SX at the moment. N is the number of scores. So that's pretty useful. If we added up the frequency, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 scores. When we scroll down, what we get is your five number summary. Min, Q1, median, Q3, the two quartiles, and maximum. So everything you might need for a five number summary or a box plot or the range, maximum minus minimum, or the median, it's all in there. The only thing I might ask you to calculate that isn't there is the mode. All of these you can get, or what lies the range and the interquartile range, you can work out from what's given to you. And remember, of course, that all those five together are your five number summary.
So if you asked for that, it's there. So anything I ask you to calculate, you can get with the graphics calculator. Having a quick look at how we enter a data set when it's just one line of data, quit out of that, stat, oops, and edit. Now to clear a whole column really fast, highlight the top of it, clear, and enter. Highlight the top, clear, enter. This is just one list of data, so we just enter it down the page like so. And you could get that easily from a stem and leaf plot. If you had to calculate the average and you had a stem and leaf plot, you can just read off the data and put it in. The same steps again. Stat, calc, one variable stats, but we don't have a frequency list. So we're still L1 for our data, but we clear the frequency list and calculate. And there it is, our mean, standard deviation, number of scores, five number summary and everything we need. So here, same to enter it. But when we do stat calc, one variable stats, we just want L1, no frequency list, because we didn't have a frequency list. Now, if you're dealing with grouped data, the one thing that we can't do is we can't put in a score based on this because it's a range. So we use what's called the class center or the midpoint. To get that, this class is from 0 to 10. You just find the average, 0 plus 10. I know you don't need to do the working. Hit enter, divided by 2. The center of this class is 5. I'm sure you can guess where the center of this class is, 10 to 20. It's 15. 10 plus 20 is 30, divided by 2, 15. And you'll see it forms a pattern in the same way as the class does. 5, 15, 25, 35. It goes up by the same amount, so this goes up by 10, this goes up by 10. It's just taking the middle of the class. And we use this as our score. Because we can't calculate with a range, so we've got to just assume that every, every mark in this group, every one of these, is a 5. Actually, it could be anywhere from 0 to 9.9, .9, but we'll just have to take the best average we've got. It's a good idea if you're doing this in a test to highlight the fact that you want this one first. L1, L2, because it'll end up backwards and it might confuse you. Stat edit, clear your data. So down L1, we want our class centers. Oops. Oops. And guess who made a mistake down here? 55. Then our frequency. And then we get it exactly the same way as for a frequency table. Stat, calc, one variable stats, L1 is our data, L2 is our frequency, and calculate. Mean, standard deviation, number of scores, five number summary, and all the parts of that.